If you want to rank your client first in the Google Maps Pack, there is a very specific website format that your client's site needs to follow if you want to qualify. So what I have here is a look inside of our agency's internal SOP that we use step by step to do the entire local SEO process. But what I want to show you right here is just how we determine the website structure. I'm going to walk you through this kind of step by step. So the first thing that we do is we call the website using Screaming Frog. Now, if you have another crawler that you like to use, you basically just need to get every page on the website returned back. What this allows us to do is get a visualization to see how the pages are laid out. As an example from a car accident attorney um, that we have here, you can see they've got a lot of different kind of folders, if you will. They've got a lot of different languages on the website. We had to go through and really organize this and clean this up. And it's important too, because if you think about how Google wants to crawl, analyze, and rank websites, it wants things organized. It wants to be able to understand quickly what the website is about. And the easiest and fast way to do that is through the use of folders and subfolders on a website. And the way that we want to set up a local business website is to make sure that we have dedicated location and or service pages. The and or depends on how many locations that your client has. Let's say that they are a single firm, single location law firm in Miami, right? This is a little screenshot here from a mural, just map that we do here, where we just map out all the different locations that they may or may not have, plus the categories that they have on the website. So it's a little bit easier to visualize when we scroll down here, right? So let's say, for example, again, it is a single location law firm only in Miami that does personal injury law. Now, personal injury law, right? And this could be for like home contractors. This could be for like HVAC, roofers. That's the main category of service that they provide, right? So roofers, right? Personal injury lawyers. Now within that, there's services or subservices that they're gonna provide. If you're a roofer, repair, it could be like inspections. It could be like tiling, all these different subservices that people would be searching for, right? So you need to put your SEO hat to do the keyword research to understand what are the subservices that people are searching for in the general category of personal injury. And personal injury, it's gonna be things like car accident, slip and fall, Uber accidents, medical malpractice, right? These are all under the general umbrella of personal injury. Now, to make this a little more complicated, right? So that's very simple, right? Whatever your business is, whatever your client's business is, you need to know what the services are. Now to make it localized, right? What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that each of those subservice and major service pages is targeting a single area. If they're only a Miami roofing company, it's very simple. It would just be Miami roof repair, Miami tile roof installation, right? Whatever that looks like. So you can see here also how we have this set up. Now, you might be asking too, do you need the Miami in the subfolder? The reason why I like to put this in is because when we start talking about scaling this to multiple locations, if that business only wants to target one location and they're only gonna target one location forever, which is uh, fine, you don't need the subfolder here. You can just potentially even make it something like that, right? You can just put Miami in the domain. Now, I prefer to set up a subfolder because part of what we do for our clients and part of what I recommend you do for your clients is help them to scale to new locations. That doesn't mean they need a physical location, but that means for every Google business profile that they have in a verified area, they need this a subset of pages on their website, right? So let's say that they're also in Boca, right? Or they want to expand to Boca, right? All we have now is a subfolder for Boca, subfolder for Miami in the exact same pages that are then rewritten and retargeted for those areas. And again, down here, I have it for single location. So again, if it's just only going to be a single location, like if it's like a dentist, for example, right? And they're like, I, I, this is a small business, I don't want to expand, then yeah, this type of URL structure is fine. But again, I still recommend that you do this because if it's a service area business, attorneys, landscapers, roofer, anything in home services, right? They don't need a physical office that people go into. They can just get a verified office to target that area. So for example, what we do with our clients all the time is we help them open up, verify, we get actually help them sign a commercial lease in targeted markets, get that verified, relaunch these pages on their website, and then go after those new markets. And this is an important note too, because this is an old school, what I think is a spammy SEO tactic, you should only be launching location pages if you have a verified Google business profile in those areas. I know a lot of SEOs would be like, yeah, just fart out a million pages of content targeting every zip code, targeting every geo. No. One, it's bad for the user. Two, Google doesn't want it. It's called the doorway page. And three, you only want to really be spending time and effort if you have a verified listing in that location because the local service are everything right now. Very few people are actually getting to these. This is really more to like check the box for Google to make sure and understand what your website's about and what areas you service. So this is the proper structure to follow. It can be a little bit confusing, but I have very detailed videos and much more guidance on this that I can provide you for just $199. I'll give you access to this entire SOP 
It literally goes through step by step exactly how to offer and serve SEO, local SEO to your clients. It even directly links to all these different templates like NAP templates, Google Business Profile posts, and GBP optimization checklists. Everything, how to get reviews for your clients, everything you need is literally inside of this document. It is a command center for how to run local SEO for clients, including all the technical things like how to set up the website, how to build links, how to get citations, all those things are included inside of here and you can have access to it for just $109. So all these templates, SOPs plus video training, 199 bucks. If you want access, hit the link below and I'll see you inside. Hey, Ryan here. Hope you liked that video. If you want more, check out these two videos right here on the screen.